Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. I am a truck driver specifically for an LTL company called Essis Express. Best LTL company, you know, in my humble opinion. You know, I, I am a little bit biased. <laughs> as this is the only LTO company I've worked for, but I have spoken to many other drivers from many other companies and you know there's a lot of good ones that are out there. Uh, but I like to try to bring you with me so you can kind of see what this is like doing this type of work. Maybe this is something you want to do. Maybe it's something you say, Chuck, I don't want to back no truck. I don't want to, you know, take out signs and hit sides of buildings and that truck and stuff's not for me i can barely back my car <laughs> well that's okay you can come for the ride along but i'd like to try to bring you with me again to let you see what it's like we're going to be doing well let's see i've got i think i've got it slightly we're going to be going to four places uh, two of them i have never been to before so you get to see me i'm going to talk a little bit about what i do when i go to a place that i've never been to before um, so that, uh, you know, again, if you're getting into this, it can be quite overwhelming at first because you're constantly lost and it's not like you're in a little car that you can just kind of, you know, turn around in a residential area and come out. When you're in a big truck like this, you really have to be careful about where you go. And, uh, I'll kind of talk you through my process anyway. But, uh, yeah, between now and January, if you've been following my channel, you know I'm going back to the line haul division in January, specifically, uh, I guess the third week of January be the week of the 18th. And, uh, when I can get over, that's going to end here in a minute. So, I'll probably be making a video maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, just to, you know, say hi and show you, you know, a little bit more about what I do here on PND. But we'll really ramp it up once we get back there on the road, going to all the different terminals around the network. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at. So if you start going, Chuck, how come you're not doing as many videos? How come it's been two weeks, we ain't heard from you? That's why. Um, you know, I've made over probably 100 P&D videos. Not a much more I can, I can show. This place does, uh, I deliver batteries over here. Uh, mo mo mainly motorcycle batteries. And this is one that, you know, you could easily go down and probably come back and sight back it. But I prefer just to wing it here. And it's not really a blind side because I've got this cheap window here. But it's still, you still got to be careful. You got that mailbox over there you got to watch out for mainly. Put the four ways on. We're going to be going in that dock right back there. Get as much of that trailer headed that way as I can so I don't have to turn too much. There we go. Again, got a mailbox over here. But I think we're gonna be we're gonna be good. Sometimes once you get it, you may have to do a little bit of a pull up, which I did this time. Might hit the curb a little bit, but that's okay. Everybody has. You always want to go back and forward to your mirrors. Don't get stuck in one mirror too long. All right, so how this works, let's turn the four ways off. When we get to a location, we have a handheld here, and we're gonna hit that we've arrived, and we're gonna put the time right here where it says in. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> And we got one pallet. I 
How's it going? Good, how oh, pretty good. Got one for today. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. You bet. You too. So I'll show you exactly what I do once I get back in the truck. Take my gloves off. I do want to give a, a special shout out to a driver at my terminal. Oops. He goes by, we'll just call him the initials AJ. AJ, AJ watches the channel. He's a line haul driver. He does a Memphis meet. And uh, he stopped last week and uh, he borrowed my truck on Friday and uh, gave her a little truck wash. Thank you, AJ. I appreciate that. You guys know I try to keep my, my stuff as clean as I possibly can. So on the out here, we're going to put the time. So we spent a whopping three minutes at this stop, which a lot of stops are going to be less than five minutes, honestly. Um, I'm gonna hit that I delivered, everything was okay. And we're gonna hit the part stop. Now the next place I'm going to, I've never been to before. Drive by it all the time, didn't even know the name of it. Uh, but they've got one, let's see. On here it shows that they got one pallet, it's 436 pounds. So I'll see you guys when we get over there. Okay, this place I'm going to, or coming up to, I believe is right here on this, right here on this corner. Uh, I believe it's, yeah, this place right here. Now, though I've never been to this place again, I've been here, near here many a time, so I kind of knew the general area. Now, my next stop I'm going to, I'll, I'll kind of tell you guys how I go about setting this up. But like this, this looks like maybe this place right here is abandoned. I'm gonna back up, see right there? They've got that forklift. That's a telltale sign. That's where you need to put the rear of your trailer. You just wanna watch out too for places when you come. Make sure power lines, even though all that stuff should be 13.6. Uh, it's not always the case. We're gonna back right up to that door. They get slow, you never know these buildings, people come flying through here or something. Forklifts are your friend when you're making deliveries. And that ought to be good there. So again, when you get to a place, you want to show that you've arrived. Now why is this important? This is important so that, number one, it's tracking the time you're at every stop. Number two, it's also letting know and di dispatch know exactly where you're at, especially in the afternoons when you're doing pickups, so they can kind of see where you're at and plan. And if you're not, you know, you're going to three stops before you put the stuff in your handheld, then they may think you're at one place and you're actually three ahead, and they take one off of you and try to give you another one, and you know, it just becomes a can become a mess. So keeping that handheld up to date is always a good thing. Um, so some of you new drivers that are coming on, stay on top of that. Hello, 
we've got a delivery for you guys. This, this, you guys. TP El Technico is still going. That is you guys. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was here or that building next door. Uh, shows it's 436 pounds, so I I think it's a pallet. I don't have a lift gate. You guys don't have a pallet jack. I mean, don't have a uh, forklift. Will your neighbor next door help you? Yeah. I know he's got one. Okay. So yeah, it was actually this place here on the end. I thought it was that one right there. So as I walked up to their door, I noticed that uh, it's a different company. But luckily they have a forklift, because these guys don't. That Pro number right there, so it starts with 055. That's the terminal that it's originated from. So, shout out to the 055. Not for sure. I have to look here in a second to see who that is, but. Came from uh, Canfield, Ohio. Let's see if it's. Uh... Oh, West Middlesex. Oh one of our big that's kind of our gate to the northeast there west middle six pennsylvania it's a large terminal huge terminal Here, let me push it. Oh, there you go. Now, 460 pounds. Oh, start pouring. Camera's not waterproof. Mr. Rain, you need to quit. Hey, you're good on this side. Uh huh. Yeah, just go straight. Plenty of room over here. Get a signature right there. Thank you. Yes. There you go, sir. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Hey, guys, I appreciate your help. Thanks. Who got that taken care of? And sometimes that's what you end up having to do is, luckily there's a neighbor near. Now, what would you do if you said Chucky got somewhere the neighbor didn't have, uh, you know, a forklift? Well, I would have to call dispatch and we'd have to set it up. See, because this wasn't flagged for a liftgate delivery. And so we would have to put it in the, for a liftgate delivery and then um, that would go through a process that customer would be charged for a liftgate delivery. I would have had to take it back and it would have came out probably with another driver tomorrow or the day after who uh, was in a liftgate. So uh, that's how that works out. So I will see you guys at the next. All right, our next delivery is right here where this uh, box truck's coming out of. Flash my lights at him, let him know, hey, I'm turning it in there, sir. This uh, particular pallet came from Hawthorne, California. 
Uh, I believe that's our Long Beach, California terminal. LBC. We've got one pallet for them, and then we've got another pallet for a company that's about a mile that way. Uh, which is a place I've never been to. Do the loop de loop. I do the loop de loop. There we go. 10.03 a.m. We're making good time. We had nine deliveries and we've got, let's see, one, two, three left. So again, in and out. this out of the way because I know he usually puts his pallets there. Somebody asked me, Chuck, you need a new pallet jack. I know, but I'm about to leave, so. <laughs> I had one for you. Right there. I already got it all for you. Yeah. You keeping you busy today? You got you wrapping it up? Are you? Thank you. Uh huh. All right. So we wrote down uh, what 10 10 3 We're done at ten o six. Now again, not every place you go to can you get in and out in five minutes. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Sometimes you're at places for 20 or 30 minutes. I have a lot of freedom. I go into places, I know their processes, they're used to seeing me every day, and sometimes they probably let me do some things they, well, I know they do because I've been to places when I first went there, they wouldn't let me touch nothing, do nothing, hey, you're gonna have to wait. You know, now it's, hey, Chuck, or now I just kind of walk in, let them do their job, they see me. Like that gentleman there, I've been here hundreds of times. And, um, you know, you just kind of come in, you go out. And that's why when you have your own route, you're going to be a lot faster than someone who doesn't. Just because you know 
you know the route. All right, so I'm coming up on it, and you guys are seeing kind of the Google Maps of this. Where I drop that pin is where I'm going to go in, and I'm going to exit just to the south of that exit there. So right over there is where I'm going to come out. But I'm going to go in down here because it looks like that's the kind of the smoother way of going. I'm sure you could go in there, but it looks like maybe right over here is the receiving area. Yep, shipping and receiving right there. You know, they don't have any signs out here saying no trucks, so. Basically, you turn in here, and you're going to exit here and stop right here, and it looks like they're probably going to come out with their with their forklift and get whatever you've got. So, let's see if this is the... Hello, got a delivery for you guys. Let me see what you got. Okay. Yeah, see whose it is and what they're doing to it. Alright. Might be on the other side we're kind of the Metal furnishings. Alright, I I don't know who it is, whose it is, but I'll find out. Okay. Luis, do you copy? I'm gonna send this with you. Okay. Have him sign it and he'll be right out. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, um, Woman with the walkie talkie. She is base command. where this is coming from. This is coming from Wilston, Virginia. Wilston, Virginia. Oh, they bring you something damaged? Yeah. Oh, and, okay. And it was subtle. It was, it was wrapped similar to this, actually. Had your corner guards, this and that. Uh-huh. This side was pushed down a little bit. But we went to find McLean, like, literally the next day, mm -hmm. same day. They were doing it because we, we didn't sign the bill damaged. I'm like, are you kidding? We've, I've been working with them for 10 years on this. I don't file most of my claims. The Correct. Stuff. This happened to be, like, a $4,000 cap. Wow. Here's the bill. Only sign as long as it's good to you. Okay, okay. I explained to him why we have to do it and how we got dinked, so. Thank you. Huh? That's always a good sign. Yeah. I think we had a few that like tipped over. Tipped over. Well, I noticed this right here. It was showing that, you know. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you <laughs> pick it up that way, it might fall over. That yeah, looks good to me. Okay. And that would be on this other habit. side. Right there. Uh-huh. Finally got in the habit of carrying a pen. <laughs> there you go. Y'all have a great day. You Thank you. <laughs> and so in that, you know, in that case right there, again, if a customer, whenever you come to a place, it's really their responsibility to look everything over. And then, you know, later on they find something that's damaged and, you know, the carrier, I can see why, you know, in that case, you know, FedEx wouldn't do a claim with them because, hey, you signed for it. You said everything was good.
Um, so usually when I when a when a place gets a ding like that, then you know they kind of learn their lesson and they want to look things over maybe a little closer than what they you know maybe have in the past. So we're all good there. We got everything. Uh, our team did a great job of our dock cans and and. Uh, there goes one of the guys over there <laughs> making some deliveries out here. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this vlog. I want to thank you so much for stopping by, spending a few moments with me today. You guys, till I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. We'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.